What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. And with that being said, man, I want to speak on the Philadelphia 76ers, right? And and why I think that the Philadelphia fans are in for a big disappointment this year. I know they when they first uh, found out that they were going to be getting Paul George, you know, a lot of fans were like optimistic and said, OK, this could be the missing piece for the Philadelphia 76ers, you know, that, that piece that will help um, Joel and B, you know, get over the hump and and get to a championship and possibly win a championship for this for the city of Philadelphia, right? And I think that even under the best of circumstances, I don't think that um, you know, like if if Paul George was healthy, I don't think that you know that you know that would make them, in my opinion, good enough to get past the Boston Celtics. And I and and the main reason why I think is not that it's just that Paul George right now is older as a player. And so he is not, um, you know, I don't think Paul George would be able to get them over the hump, even if he was healthy. Like I said, he's older now, uh, you know, he's going hit and most likely uh, they're going to have to go to the Celtics in order to get, you know, to where they want to get. And I, I don't think that Paul George would be able to get them past the Celtics. That's, that's number one. Um, number two, Joel Embiid, right? Joel Embiid, um, is he number he can't even you can't keep him on the court. He he won't, he's it's like he can't stay healthy, healthy enough to to get the team to you know pass the um, you know, to the championship or in deep into the playoffs into the championship. Number one, he is his health, you know, like I said, his health. Then, number two, I, I think it's like his desire, like to me. Joel and B don't seem clutch. And uh it, you know, he you know, it, you got to be clutch and you got to be willing to to put that work in that what it takes to get you to to that championship level. And if 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 he don't have that clutch gene and he can't stay healthy, uh, or he's doing um like load management and missing games and stuff like that, you know, he don't have that. That grind in him, Joel B. He, to me, he don't have that grind in him, you know. And and so that's really that's part of what what really gets you there, you know. That that grind and the sweat and the tears that it take to get you to the championship is is really it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication, you know. Take for instance, um, you know, they show pictures of how Isaiah Thomas was like almost like was in tears when the Detroit Pistons won there they won their championship and that you know that just goes to show like how much like he had to overcome in order to win a championship or when michael jordan when michael jordan won his championship how he was you know he was in tears you know when he won his first championship how happy he was and how much in tears he was you know um and the fans saw that from from for those guys like when they when they won a championship they saw like how that you know Detroit got knocked out of the playoffs by Boston. Uh, you know, this team beat them, that team beat them. They just Boston just kept knocking them out of the playoffs. And you know, but every year they came back stronger, they made adjustments until they finally got over that hump. And so the fans was able to see that Isaiah Thomas and the Detroit Pistons was dedicated to getting past the Boston Celtics. Now come along with the uh the Chicago Bulls. And the same thing happened with Michael George. Like Isaiah and, and Joe Dumas and Vinny and John Sally and all those guys, they they beat the I don't know what out of Mike. And, and you know, but you see like every year the Chicago Bulls got better. You know, they bought it, they got Scottie Pippen, um, Michael Jordan. Um, you know, he balked up, he he, he got he got physically stronger so he can take that that beating that Detroit was going to give them. And they eventually got over the hump and they won that championship. So that was good for the fans because the fans get to see like, they get to see like a, a ball player and a team just like evolve. And when I look at Joel and B, I don't see that like from a fan standpoint, I don't see him evolving or getting better, you know, every year. Now I, I think he did win a, um, a MVP, you know, he won the league MVP once maybe even twice you know but 
I don't see that in in him to the point where I can see, all right, well, Joel, Joel is going to lead this team to a championship. You can see, like, you know, he's just got that, that determined look in his eyes. Um, you know, he's added this to his game. He's added that to his game. And that's what the, you know, that's how fans can tell. You know, when you have a player who's just steady and proven, um, and, it, and, you know, you could tell, like, their main focus is getting not just to the playoffs but into the championship. You can just tell, you know. Um, more recently, I remember, when, like, when Giannis, you know, you could just see how Giannis just got better. Giannis got um, bigger. He got stronger. And, and you know, he just was on a mission. That year that that uh, the Milwaukee Bucks won that championship, you could just tell that Giannis uh, was on a mission. And it just it's just a whole nother level as a fan. You can tell, you know, you can just when you when a ball player is playing at that level and he he's ready to um, take that next step. You, you can just see and it's good for the sport. It's good for the fans. And um, yeah, but um, as far as Philadelphia, I don't think I don't think Paul George, in my opinion, <clears throat> he got enough in the tank to get Philadelphia to where they want to go. And I don't think that uh, Joel Embiid is dedicated enough. You know, I don't think he dedicated enough to to get Philadelphia where they want to go. And so, even if these guys was healthy, you know, that you know, like I said, Paul George is too old, and um, Joel Embiid just he just not dedicated enough. He, you know, um, he wants to be able to to turn it on, you know, turn on. You know, to turn it on when he when he get to the playoffs, he want to turn up his game and turn it on like it's a farce. And basketball don't work like that. Well, nothing in life really work like that. You know, you just can't turn success on and turn it off. You know, it's it's you you taking uh, steps and you making progression to go towards like your, what your goals are. And I don't see that in Joel and B. And that's why I think like Philadelphia 76 of fans are in for a big. Um, disappointment this year. And besides that, the Celtics are on a mission this year because their top two numbers, their uh, number one and number two stars just got like really disrespected over the summer. And I think the Celtics are going to be on a mission this year. And um, I, I, to the, I think Philadelphia is just basically going, going to be a road bump, you know, for the Celtics. But um, that's my take on the 76ers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. And with that being said, I will check you all out on the next video. Peace out.